Board of Trustees, Superintendent Tim McGill, and the graduating class of 2011, I would like to welcome you to this commencement service. Tonight there are two official photographers documenting the ceremony. Each graduate will receive a CD of these pictures at the graduation party tonight. You are welcome to take your own, but please take pictures or videos from your seat. <laughs> And right now, would you please check your cell phone and kindly turn those off? I now ask Mr. Callum McKinley, a senior parent, ELL teacher, interim athletic director, to lead us in tonight's invocation. Please rise for the invocation. Let's pray together for the detail of our God. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. When I look at the night sky in Kending, I see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, and I think, what are mere mortals that you think of us? Human beings, that you should care for us, and yet you do. And you know each one of these 77 soon-to-be graduates. You know their attempts and their accomplishments. You know their weaknesses and their strengths. You know their failures and their successes. You know their sorrows and their joys, their faith their hopes and their loves. And right now, we thank you for each one. And as we celebrate with them tonight, we also thank you for all those who have brought them this far, their mums and dads, grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters. We think of their teachers, coaches, mentors and friends who have built into their lives. And we're sad because we know that now they will go. Yet, as they prepare to move on, we pray your wonderful blessing on them, both for tonight and for their future lives. That in this time, and in the time to come, they will remember all that you have done. And we pray that they will keep their eyes fixed, not on fame or fortune, but that they will stand firm with their eyes fixed on you, our Creator, our Redeemer, our Father, and our Friend. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Please remain standing. Join me and the graduates in singing the hymn May the mind of Christ, may these words prove true in their lives.
long-standing traditions that are salutatory and valedictory address our community at the commencement service. Please welcome the class salutatorian, Alan England John.
By now, everyone knows I am going to McGill University in Montreal, which I'm very happy about. God has answered my prayers in a different way. As second semester rolled around, I began to relax, but resisted coming to team right? With all the significant stressors out of my life, I was finally free to invest deeply in friendship and relationships with people, not just academic competition. I was able to see all the things people can teach me. Shuri showed me how to effectively communicate with people, and helping with a few sessions in elementary string classes showed me that although I loved kids, teaching and working with them may drive me nuts. And then there was what I learned from romance. Thank you. Thank you for always being there for me, helping me through my most vulnerable moments. You were always there for me as I took risks and be safe. You were always there to cheer me on, support me mentally and emotionally. The great memories we have of going to concerts, hanging out past midnight, lying on the beach at sunset. I will cherish my memories forever and always. Thank you for believing in me. Today we are graduating, ready to receive our awards and diplomas. Today, as we walk out of the doors one last time, we will no longer be high school students. Today, our path may part. So, what do we do? This isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions. Rather, this is the time to make mistakes. Take the wrong train and get stuck somewhere? Fall in love a lot. Major in philosophy, because there is no way to convince your parents you're going to make a career out of that. Dream big. After all, as Joe March sings in Little Woman the Musical, sometimes when you dream, your dreams come true. Stir up the imaginations that we 